I, you, you can think it's true. Maybe you believe it is. You can't say it. And I'm asking people whether they're bothered by it. And I, I, I think the answer is yes. But I'm, I'm going to wait for a bigger sample size. Ticket text coming in. I don't want to hear Brad's excuses. But come on, just because they make more than anybody uh, doesn't make them not human. Agree. You're missing my point. You can believe the statement is true, but it's about whether it's appropriate or whether it's advisable for the manager of a baseball team to go out and ever blame schedule and sleep and flight pattern. My answer is no. I'm tired. I'm tired of awesomeness, tired of underperforming players, tired of a terrible pen, tired of watching glorified softball. That's from Chris. Why is everyone upset with awesomeness? He just answered a question that he was asked. Because you can't, here's how it should have been answered. If you're asking me, hey, how do I not alienate the fans further? What is this ticket text they're talking about? That question was planted. That's what the Tigers, that's what the message they wanted out there. This wasn't, oh, he was just asked the question, he answered it. No, they wanted that question and that narrative out there. Right, because it takes the focus off, hey, Miguel Cabrera is awful this exactly. year. Exactly. Osmus wants it out there to say he's protecting his players. That's all. Well, and the other issue is he could easily come out and said, listen, hey, you know what? Fans don't want to hear about fatigue. These yeah. guys get paid a lot of money. I, 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 Hey, they're human, but we got to be better. And he could easily have answered it that way, moved on. It's not a story. It's not an issue. I don't take two seconds to address it. When you say it the way he said it, and then you got Mario and Pemba acting like he's in a Romanian orphanage, looking deep into their eyes. Oh, come on, Mario, I love you. You can't do that. And that's why I believe it was the narrative they wanted out there because you're right. He should have, he, and he could have answered it just like that. We won't do it. You know, the fans don't want to hear that excuse. Right. It is what it is. Tired, but it's baseball. They're on their ass half the time. Uh, I find most things said by FSD broadcasters offensive on a daily basis, okay? What does awful plate discipline have to do with being tired? Amen. I can't stand Osmus. He's the single biggest reason the team is lousy. All right, I disagree with that, but I agree with your sentiment on him. Mike, you're totally on base. If I go to work tired, I got to do my job. I'm going to go to my boss and say, yeah, I'm too tired. Tigers are done. The games they lost in April and May will haunt them again in September. That's from Mike. Guarantee if they were winning right now, they wouldn't look so tired. Hashtag hot take. Uh, can't they sleep on the plane or are they walking to games? That's from Rod. Mike, you've hit it on the head. I don't care how tired they are. It's BS. I get five hours of sleep every day. I work almost 80 hours a week. I don't want to hear it. See, that's the key. And ultimately, when, when you're engaging the media, there's a right time and a wrong time to say things that you know may be inflammatory. And this is not the right time. And we've talked about it a number of times. I know Victor Martinez has had a couple of run-ins with fans with commentary. You can't do it. You're never going to win when you comment on the fans. And I think as an athlete, you're never going to win when you complain about being tired. Now, to the players' credit, they're not the ones out there doing it. It's the manager and then broadcasters. But for a team that already has an image problem, for a team that seemingly is not very likable, um, really the wrong button to push by Osmus, and thereby allowing the broadcasters to then you know, jump on that and move with it. Let's go to Roger, 971. Roger, how you doing? Roger, check one, two. We go to Jimmy, 971. Hi, Jim. Hey, how you doing? Good. What's on your mind? Oh, you know, I agree with everything you just said. Here, these guys are complaining about being tired and stuff. We all get up. I go to work at 2 in the morning sometimes. I work till 2.33 in the afternoon to pay my bills. And they're making millions of dollars. Come on. I haven't been to Comerica Park in six years now, and I don't plan on going. Just tired of watching them. Mediocre players. They don't run out the balls. You know, they're lackadaisical. And what do you do, you know? I'm not going to spend my hard-earned money to watch these guys pulling out of the stadium in their Bentleys and their Ferraris and all this stuff. You know what? We're at Arnold Town here, and they should support the big three like they want us to support them. All right, let's go easy now. All right, all right Jimmy, you're going you're gonna to end up getting down a direction there. I don't want to go today. But the sentiment of his call is what I feel like this town agrees with. That this team, were they were the, 10 years ago, they were the darlings of this, of this city. And primarily throughout, 
They've maintained a perch that no matter what the Lions did or the Wings did or the Pistons did, that that the Tigers were relevant, that they were in the mix, that there was possibility. Now, after 09, the Wings have started going downhill, and they fell off, and the Pistons have been awful, and the Lions, it's, it's, it's fleeting, albeit in the right direction now. But when you hear a caller like Jim call in with that, have the Tigers become the, the, the most unlikable team here? That in a city of, of burnt-out fans, we are, we are burnt out on, on, on these teams. The Lions have destroyed people for generations. But the Wings, the Pistons, and now the Tigers, there's a lot of alienation of fans in this city. I mean, Sully, is that nuts to even suggest that the Tigers are the least liked team in this city right now? It's not nuts. I was kind of surprised when you first said it. But when you think about it more, it's not crazy to say. I mean, I don't think the Pistons are very likable. I put the Pistons but, beneath but me, the Tigers. Let me say this, and then you, you tell me if it changes your opinion. Mike, there's a difference between apathy and then dislike. Look, I think people are apathetic to the Pistons. They just don't care. I think there's an there's an apathy with the wings that is growing quickly. Okay? So with the Tigers, people care, but they're spending negative energy on it because they flat out, when you listen back to a guy like Jim, Mikey, he cares, he's angry. So I, I'm, I would love to know if that's where the Tigers are at right now. I mean, I thought I've always viewed them as a likable team. Seems like fans are always excited to go see Cabrera and laughing at what he's doing on the field. And obviously, Verlander's been there forever. But I think I'd use the word apathy, apathy more for the Tigers than I would dislike. But I see what you're saying. I, I do because they've turned into a team where it's hard to root for. We've heard a lot of people say over the past couple months, "Hey, I'm finding myself not rooting for the Tigers just because I want to see it all torn down." Yeah, I mean, and look, you've seen Red Wing fans do it openly, you know, rooting against the team. Which is just crazy to think about, but it happens. Right, but this is where people are at. They don't have time for this nonsense. 248-539-9797. We'll go to Steve. We'll put a cap on it and move on to other issues. Steve, what's going on, bud? Hi. Um, First time caller. Welcome. You know, know, everyone's talking about, oh, I work this long job. I work 26 hours a day, eight eight days a week. Same thing with me. I work long hours get a little sleep, and, and when I go to work, I'm grumpy, and I don't want to work. But once I get to work, well, there it is. And I work as hard as I need to work to accomplish the goal. And they couldn't double my salary to make me work harder or faster or more efficiently. I do my job because I'm proud of my job, and I, and I give everything into it, everything. And so it should be the same way with everybody, but, of course, it's not. But you would think with people who are paid as much as they are that they would be excited about I mean, they, 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 it's baseball, for Christ's sake. When they were 15, they, weren't, they might have said, yeah, I'd like to be a baseball player, but come on. Realistically, what were the chances? They were real slim, but they managed to do it. Now they're pros. Some of them are Hall of Famers. And to, to sit there and say, I'm tired, you got to translate that. It means I'm flat today. I don't give a crap today. Tomorrow, maybe I'll give a crap, but today, no. And that's what it's about. They don't, they don't really, you know, it's kind of like that late in July when you, oh, it's a big grind, you know, it's midseason, all that crap. I, I, I don't buy that. Give it all you've got. That's the end of the story. If you try, if they were offered a million dollars for every hit in the next game they play, I'll tell you what, they'd probably get one hell of a lot of hits. It might be a record, record-setting day. But you, you never know. You say, well, it'd be a bad pitcher that day. But I, still, nonetheless, I don't think they're trying because they just, they're just they just not into it. And they should be for the amount of money that they're sucking out of the economy. Well, I mean, look, Steve brings it up. I don't think it's any secret. I've said it for years. I don't begrudge the players. They have earned the money. You're worth what someone deems you you are worth. But if you don't think money has affected the way all athletes and all sports have gone about business, yeah, I, guys, it's a pipe dream if you think players are going to behave the way that the uh, caller Jay uh, right there just cited. Things are different. James Harden loses a playoff series. He goes to the club that night. Now, are there certain guys that are red asses? Are there certain guys who care? Certain guys who have that that special fiber that they take it the same way that they took it when they were in college or juniors or or, or high school? Yeah. But that's why those guys are special. And that's not to say players don't work hard. They do work hard. 
But if you think that every every game is Rocky Four to these guys, it's not. It's it that that that's just guys. Money messes people up, and it takes somebody pretty special to make the amount of money that a big time athlete makes and still be this unbelievable. I'm gonna live and die on every game kind of guy. 